Alright, so this is part 3 of the Dark Souls tutorial. And uh, in the last uh, video, basically, I killed the Moonlight Butterfly. Now, uh, to start this video off, I'm just going to be finishing up this area. So this right here is... Uh, we're just going to get this. Now, there will be enemies that pop up as we grab it. But they're not too difficult. Okay, we got hit by that one. All oh shit. Okay, well, yeah, you might want to run out of there. All right, here we go. Oh. On. Oh, the fucking wall. I hate the fucking walls in this game. Like, every time you hit something, like, a wall, it just stops your sword. It fucking pisses me off so much. <sighs> Alright. Let's kill this guy. Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna rest at the uh, bonfire again, and go back. Alright, these guys though will, um, yeah, these guys will come out at us now, that's basically why we didn't kill them, or go into that room, uh, before Moonlight Butterfly. Oh. The dealing with these guys are just really fucking annoying. Oh, really? There's four of them? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, bitch. Die. Alright. Now we're just gonna... Go back down here. We're going to take a right. Uh, last episode, we did kill the tree there, so there will be a tree that you have to hit a couple of times. Uh, now we have these uh, weird looking floor manta rays that are just. Uh, that is a really weird creature. What the fuck? I don't think I remember these guys. These look really weird. It's like this lizard frog manta ray hybrid. That is very strange, but we're going to continue going down. Uh, I think this is another killable tree, so we're just going to whack it a couple times. I don't think anything bad happened uh, with the tree. Like, I don't think the tree starts attacking you at all. But it does give you uh, souls, apparently. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, the area we are currently in. Let's go up these uh, stairs. Hopefully there isn't anything too dangerous. Okay, there's just one of these guys, which are pretty simple to kill. Just keep whacking. He's gonna waste time doing that spell, and he can't even get us. Alright, let's go. And now, I'm wondering if there are any, like, invisible walls here. There are, like, a lot of invisible walls in this game. Alright, we got a wolf ring. I'm gonna go take a look at that. Because I'm not familiar with the wolf ring. It boosts poise. Okay. So that's actually beneficial for boosting poise up. Uh, okay, so that area right here that we're looking at, uh, we're going to go there later in the game. But there is a completely different path uh, to reach that, I believe. That's uh, the area behind that door uh, that we talked about in the last episode, like, there's a door you need 
something called the Crest of Artorias, and uh, basically, you can uh, use that to go to that area over there. But yeah, we're just gonna kill this guy. Yeah, locking on and then just uh, going to the back of the enemy is the best way to kill those guys. Oh, look, we have more of these uh, weird manta ray things showing up. I really like how, like, everything in Dark Souls is just, like, really, really weird. It's, uh, the same thing in Elden Ring as well. Everything is just really, really strange, like, uh... Oh, this guy... Drop... Okay, these guys drop green blossoms. Not too sure what those do, but we're going to explore the rest of this uh, area. So far we did get the uh, wolf ring, though. Uh, I think this is an ambush. Let's see. Uh, no, okay. It's not. I was expecting a couple of enemies just to uh, pop out there and just uh, kill me. All right. Yeah, I really don't know a whole lot about uh, this area over here, but uh, we're going to uh, explore everything we can. We already went up there. I don't know if there's anything actually to do down here besides uh, get the wolf ring. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, actually. Actually, I'm going to equip that now, actually, the wolf ring. Poise uh, is actually pretty important in the game. Alright, so we're just going to go back up. We're going to go up here. I am going to just look around. I don't think there are any invisible walls down here. Uh, if there's anything, like, really important later on in the game that we missed, uh, I'll come back to it, but it really doesn't look like it. Anyway, now that we're back up here, and you can obviously uh, stop at the bonfire again if you lost a lot of your health going down here, uh, but we're basically going to follow these lights. Uh... I'm not 100% uh, sure where they lead, but I think you can get some good items. Uh, okay, okay, there's a poisonous snake right here. We're going to want to kill this uh, snake just on the tree. Not too difficult. It does uh, use poison, though, and this tree is not uh, killable. I don't know what the purpose of killing these uh, snakes is. But, normally when I play through this game, I don't even bother with them. Because I, re I really don't know much about them. But I do think that there is another one uh, somewhere. I'm just not sure. Yeah, this is a guy like right before the boss, so we don't need to go into this room at all. I'm just exploring anything I may have missed. Uh, yeah, I've killed that weird lizard snake tree thing. Does look like there is... Uh, no. I thought there may have been a platform up there, but it doesn't actually look like a uh, platform. This guy is about to try to kill us, so we're going to attack him. Okay. There we go. Just slowly make your way out. Oh, okay. Well, now we might be a little bit fucked, but, uh, oh no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. And we're just going to hit this guy a couple of times. 
Uh, no reason to go back there unless... Because I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure there's another, like, snake thing that we could kill. And I'm pretty sure it gives you, like, something that's uh, worthwhile. Hmm. Okay, we got another one of these guys. And I hate it when these guys wake up, like, I don't want to just sit here uh, killing all these guys. Although for uh, some of you going for 100% uh, completion, like trying to get that uh, Platinum Trophy or uh, 1000 Gamer Score on Xbox, uh, you'll actually have to kill these guys over and over and over to get uh, their shield and to get their uh, their sword. Because you need to get all rare weapons in order to 100% the game. And uh, yeah, getting that achievement though, like all the rare weapons, is like very, very, very hard to do. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, there is an enemy around us. Uh, not letting us go to the bonfire, not sure what it is, but... Uh, Anyway, another thing I'm going to start explaining is uh, Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. Some bosses drop souls. It is very important not to use these souls because I think this one gives you like 1,200 souls or something like that. But you really don't want to use these because you can get boss weapons. And especially if you're going for... 100% completion or you want to possibly get it at some point you will want to keep those souls because you can only get one of them each playthrough and it's basically just going to be really hard to uh, get more souls because you have to go into new game plus uh, you already have to go into new game plus twice uh, to get that achievement and wasting boss souls is just gonna make it harder. But anyway, I'm going to get my endurance up to 16. And uh, we're gonna go back to uh, our blacksmith. Uh, and we're about to kill the uh, bell gargoyles. Okay, let's kill this guy right here. Do, 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 do. We got another large soul. Let's get our blood red moss clump. And kill this guy. Yada, yada, yada. Alright. Man, I hate how many enemies we have to kill on our way. It's just really annoying. Alright, we're just uh, gonna go on the right here. Yeah, and at uh, this point in the game, I'm going to start actually getting my dexterity to 18, and I'm going to try to get my strength up to 32, uh, so I can use a particular weapon that hopefully drops. Uh, actually, I don't, know. I don't know why I started talking to him. I actually don't need him right now. Uh... We're gonna go up here. I'm gonna level up my vitality right now just because I do also want my vitality and my endurance uh, to go up as well. But yeah, I'm gonna need uh, 4 levels for dexterity, 12 levels for strength, and then 
you know, I'm also going to want vitality and endurance uh, to get up to 40. Actually, vitality can get up to 50, but that's uh, for later in the game. Uh, but basically, what I'm going to be trying to do uh, throughout this tutorial, endurance uh, soft caps at around 40, so there's no reason to level it up past 40, but I'm going to try to get my endurance uh, to level 40 and my vitality. I'm going to try to get that to level 50. And... Uh, Strength and Dexterity, I'm really just trying to get to 32 and then 18, although getting Strength up to 40 is also a good idea as well. Because you will do more attack power with uh, certain weapons uh, if your Strength is higher. Uh, but anyway, we're going to come back up here across this uh, bridge again. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to go through this area right here. We're going to kill this guy. Kill this guy. Uh, this next boss uh, that we're fighting isn't going to be that difficult. It's going to be, like, a little bit more difficult than the Taurus Demon. Uh, but it isn't really that hard of a boss fight. Get. Uh, okay, so actually the first thing we want to deal with is, okay, I'm just going to go out here so I don't get hit with a bunch of magic attacks. Okay. Yeah, these guys will parry you if uh, you hit them sometimes, so you want to make sure to actually hit them. Uh, right after they attack, like right after, because they will parry you, and if they parry you, they will do a considerable amount of damage. Also, if you need uh, Titanite Shards, uh, you can kill a bunch of these guys over and over and over, because they do drop Titanite. And uh, that is good for upgrading certain weapons. We're actually going to be trying to get achievements uh, for upgrading one of each uh, weapon, but basically I think there's like raw reinforcement and then there's like magic reinforcement, chaos reinforcement for different weapons, and we're going to try to get as many of those as possible. So anyway, if you have black fire bombs, uh, now is actually a good time to use it. I'm actually going to get rid of this bow real quick and uh, put on my pyromancy flame. Uh, but if you have black fire bombs, you may want to equip them right now because we're going to deal with a bunch of hollows. So anyway, if you have your pyromancy flame, I'd recommend going into here and you're basically going to uh, aggro. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Bro, I got hit like one time. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Are you fucking serious? Okay, I'm... What the fuck? How did I die that quickly? Okay, one. Uh, hmm. I am not sure what happened there. That is really, really weird. Alright, well, I'm pretty pissed off now. Uh, but anyway, we're going to kill all these guys again. Alright. So yeah, we're going to come back up here. We're going to kill this knight again. Ah, fuck. Fuck this guy. Alright, we're gonna re-equip our pyromancy, uh, okay, so, anyway, we're gonna come out here again, and we're really quickly gonna run out, these guys are gonna get aggroed, basically, there are a bunch of these guys, and basically what we're going to do is, uh, especially when they, like, come in groups, as they start coming out, there's gonna be a lot of them, so we're just gonna sit from far away, 
throwing pyromancies at them. Black fire bombs also work as well if you did not pick a pyromancy starting class. This guy actually is getting pretty close to me. Okay, there we go. Hit these guys. Ah, fucking shit. Oh. Oh. I fucking hate these guys. There are like a bunch of them. Which, uh, I mean, these guys are pretty much harmless until there are about 20 of them. Uh, so yeah, this area, uh, really pisses me off every time I go to it because these guys are just annoying. Like, what, what the actual fuck? So the good news about this uh, magic guy up there, that's the magic guy that we're getting close to, uh, we're going to kill him right after uh, killing all these hollows that keep fucking us over. Uh, but anyway, once you kill them, oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Okay, well, thankfully I dodged quick, but anyway. Uh, that guy, the magic guy that shoots uh, shit at you from far away, he does not respawn. So we're going to try to kill him as soon as possible. But first, let's, uh, let's bait all of these fuckers out. Come on, come here, motherfuckers. Come on, I'm going to kill you all, y'all. Okay, let's just, let's try to get as many as we can in like one... Okay. Okay, yeah, they're all coming for us. Uh, yeah. Oh man, it takes it takes a little bit to actually throw the flame. So we do want actually to have some distance. Okay, yep. And uh, okay, that guy's already attacking us. Fuck you. Okay. Okay, I think that uh I think we oh shit, we have more. Okay, well that'll, let's get closer, throw a little fire, that should kill like a lot of them at once, so uh, yeah that's good, and then we have a couple more of these guys, that magic guy is also trying to attack, and we only have two more fireballs, but that guy should take out uh, the last of them, we're out of pyromancies now, okay yep this is the magic guy. Not too hard to kill. I think it's just three hits with the Drake sword and he's dead. He won't respawn ever. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, now that we're up here, and um, if this is your first uh, playthrough of the game, I would actually recommend uh, kindling the bonfire just uh, so you have 10 Estus Flask. Because uh, we won't need... Like, actually, there's something else we can do real quick, actually, before continuing. Uh, we are actually going to want to do this. Uh, but anyway, there is a soul item here. We can use that to level up, so we do want to grab that. And we're going to go into this room. Uh, there's just going to be another one of these guys to kill. Shouldn't be too difficult. Obviously, if like you're really low on Estus Flask, you are gonna want to like try again and just get as much Estus as you can before going to the boss. Okay, he's dead. Let's go. We're gonna come up here into this area. We're just gonna go around to uh, I think this is just. A dead guy. Yeah, he's not important at all. Uh, but he does drop a humanity, so you will want to go back here to get that. And uh, these uh, doors can... Uh, this door in the middle can be... There we go. So you're going to want to go through this door right here. 
You're gonna wanna climb up here and you're gonna wanna let this guy out. And basically, you're gonna wanna talk to him. That's uh, the mystery key. We got that in like the very first uh, video. But anyway, he uh, promises us a reward now. Uh, I am going to have to explain something about this guy. We are going to want to kill him once we get to Firelink Shrine. So when we come back to Firelink Shrine, he will be there, and you're going to want to kill him. And the reason that you're going to want to kill him is because if you decide not to, he will kill the Firekeeper, which basically will mean that the bonfire at Firelink Shrine will not be in use. Like, it will just, there will no longer be fire there. So, that's why we are going to kill him later. Um, I believe you can, like, if you let him live, he will kill the, uh, the fire keeper, but I think there is some item you can get that's beneficial uh, by letting him live, because you fight him later on, but only if he's alive, and uh, there's just a certain quest line. But uh, if this is your first time playing the game, I really do recommend uh, killing him. But uh, if you're on like your second or third, I mean, if you're on your second or third playthrough, you're probably not watching uh, this video series. Uh, anyway, we're going to kill the Bell Gargoyles. Uh, so basically, this is how this fight's gonna work. Uh, there's a little cutscene first, but basically, you're gonna try to kill this guy now. Uh, you want to cut off his tail. You want to attack his tail like this, and you get a gargoyle tail axe. And then you just, uh, after that, you're just going to want to uh, kill him. We already cut off his tail, so if you die in this fight, you are going to keep the axe still, so you only have to cut off his tail once. If you die, don't worry about uh, cutting off his tail again, but uh, that is a rare weapon, and you do need it for the rare weapon achievement, if you're going for that. Uh... Okay, we just killed off the first Bell Gargoyle, and now we have the second one. I'm really confused as to why the second one doesn't have full health. Uh, like, I've always been confused as to that, because this guy, he just spawned in with like half of his health. I'm not really sure why. Uh, and I don't, I remember on my first playthrough, like him specifically having all his health when he showed up. And like, the last couple of playthroughs I've played, like, he hasn't had that. But anyway, we're going to kill this one. Okay, sneak up behind him. There we go. Uh, again, these guys aren't terribly difficult. Uh, they are harder than the Taurus Demon. Uh, but when we uh, defeat the boss, we do get two uh, twin humanities. I don't think they're... Is anything to the left here and I don't think there is anything to the right yeah no there's nothing to the sides but we're gonna go into this tower and we're gonna climb up this ladder now that we are up here we're gonna have to climb uh, some more. But basically what we're doing right now is we are ringing the bell at the top. This is the first bell you have to ring. There is a second bell you have to ring and basically that will open up. Uh, can we see it from here? Uh, it basically opens up a uh, sense fortress which I don't think we can see from up here. Oh no, we can. That right there. That is Sense Fortress, and that's basically going to be for later on in the game. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to ring the bell. A cutscene will play, and you should get either a trophy or an Xbox achievement for uh, ringing the bell. Oh, but yeah, you should get an achievement for that.
All right, we're just going to climb down. And there he is. So you're going to want to talk to this guy. And you can... Uh, okay, so... This guy right here lets you... Um, you can buy stuff from him, and you can also uh, request absolution. Uh, so in this game, if you uh, commit a sin, uh, certain enemies will get very, very upset at you. Um, one thing that can commonly happen in this game is you can put your controller down, accidentally hit the right trigger, and it will attack an enemy that, or not an enemy, but an NPC, and that NPC will be mad at you. Uh, and the only way to fix it is to request absolution. Uh, but you can do that here, so if you ever kill an NPC that's important, uh, you just want to run up to this guy. But anyway, we're going to purchase, actually, two purging stones, uh, because purging stones are actually uh, more expensive, bought from other people. So while we're here, I'm just going to buy two of these uh, purging stones, basically uh, get rid of curses. So, uh, later on in the game, we're going to go somewhere where we have to actually worry about getting cursed. And if you get cursed, it's not going to be fun in any way. Uh, but basically, uh, what's going to be really annoying in the game is getting cursed and having to run to a vendor to buy a purging stone. That's going to get very, very annoying. So, we might as well get two of them now just for uh, later but we're gonna use them in like in like uh, the future but not anytime soon oh shit okay okay that was not okay now we're surrounded by these guys okay yeah I'm just uh, gonna run back to the bonfire actually I think I could take these guys. There we go. All right. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to the bonfire and level up. And uh, yeah, that's uh, we're almost to the end of this video, but we are going to. Uh, do something before we finish the video there is something that we are going to go back and do uh, I'm gonna level up uh, I can level up twice I'm just gonna get my dexterity up actually no I'm just gonna do endurance for now uh, so for anyone wondering why I keep leveling up endurance uh, and not vitality uh, it's just because I've played this game before and I have most of like the move sets memorized. Uh, so I won't really need vitality as much. I will need vitality as the game goes on and I will start leveling that up, but I do want to get my endurance up first. But anyway, we're going to go and try to kill a Black Knight. Uh, so anyway, uh, here we go. Let's just kill these guys. We're basically going back to uh, the bonfire that is near the Taurus demon. Alright, we have these guys to deal with. There we go. Yeah, these guys actually aren't uh, too difficult at all really. I remember my first playthrough I thought that those like bigger knights were like really really hard to kill. Uh, but now they're like really really easy but that's just because I've beaten uh, the entire game before. Do 
do, 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 do. just gonna run down here, kill this guy. Oh, or, okay, I thought I was gonna get stabbed. Do, 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 do. Not even gonna waste time uh, going down ladders or anything. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, and we just need to run past this, uh, bowl. That's really it. Uh, okay. Okay, you didn't hit us. Good. Uh, basically, we're just, uh, straight running now because we don't want to get attacked. We're just... Okay, he's following us all the way to the bonfire. That is, uh, not good. We're gonna run through this door because he can't reach us, uh, through here. But, uh, yeah, kill any enemy that, uh, follows you through here. But, yeah, the bowl can't come here. Uh, I don't think it would be wise to attempt to kill the bull right now. Uh, we will kill him later on when we have better weapons and more levels, but uh, for right now, we're not going to do that. Alright, we're just going to rest here. Bull. Oh, that's weird, the bull. Didn't get repositioned when we rested at the bonfire. But anyway, we're going to kill a black knight. Uh, we're going to kill this guy first. And now we're going to go up the tower. And basically we're going to kill a kind of difficult enemy. Uh, but it is going to be worth it. Again, this is an enemy where if you ever like struggle at, um, you don't really need to kill him yet. But as we go throughout the game, we're going to kill as many of these guys as possible to get as many uh, of the Black Knight weapons as possible. So this guy right here, he has a chance of dropping something called the Black Knight Greatsword. Uh, sometimes he drops it, sometimes he doesn't, but I've noticed that, you know, more times than not, he actually does drop it. So uh, I'm not sure what the exact percent chance of that is. Uh, but yeah, this guy's a little bit tricky to dodge. Uh, but, uh, the, the main thing you want when attacking Black Knights is endurance, because if they drain out your endurance, uh, okay, and his upper swing actually does a lot of damage right there. We're going to go down here. We're just going to drink some shit. All right. There. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck that move. If it does upper hand swing, I guess even if you're blocking, you get hit a lot. Okay, that's that's annoying. Okay, well, we're just gonna... There we go. And we just got a Titanite chunk. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, he has a chance of dropping a really good sword, and I guess he decided not to this time, but uh, we will have other chances to get a Black Knight Great Sword. There are multiple Black Knights in the game. Uh, if you picked up the Black Knight Great Sword, uh, that is uh, very good. Uh, you can't use it yet in the game, but we are gonna hopefully get another Black Knight weapon uh, soon. Uh, but anyway, we're just gonna run back to that bonfire we were at. There are more Black Knights to attack uh, and to kill, uh, so there are chances to get more of those weapons. Ah, uh, come on. Fuck these archers. Like, seriously, they just sit back there while you're fighting other enemies. And then they just shoot you from afar. Okay, now we fell off. Because, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go down into this tunnel. Go to the left. Come here. We're just gonna go through here. Do, 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 do. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Yeah, 
And that's actually like really, really annoying that uh, I wasn't able to acquire that weapon, but we will get more chances. I don't think that it's likely we don't get another gray sword because, or a black knight weapon, but because uh, there are like a few of them. I, I think there are like. I'll have to look it up, but I think there are at least four Black Knight weapons. And, uh, even if there's only, like, a 50% chance of, uh, them dropping the weapon, the chances that, uh, all of them don't drop the weapon would go down to, like, or four, that would just be two to the... Power of, I'm trying to do the math in my head, but I think it would just be 1 over 2 to the power of 4, which would be 1 over 32? Wait, no, I think it would be actually, oh no, 1 over 16. So we would have like a 6% chance maybe of like not obtaining a weapon. And I don't know what the actual percentage is, but uh, if it's a 50% uh, drop rate, I'm pretty sure that it's like a w 1 out of 16 chance that uh, you won't get a uh, Black Knight weapon, which that's just, that would just be like really shitty, honestly. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to come back down. Actually, no, no, I'm going to actually go to Firelink first. And uh, in our next video, we will be killing another Black Knight and hopefully getting its weapon. If we don't, I'm going to be very pissed. But uh, before we finish off this episode, I'm going to go kill a guy. Now the guy that we're killing, we're basically just killing the Golden Knight that we saw earlier. Just because, uh, just because he'll kill the uh, Fire Keeper if we don't. Now I'm pretty sure that he is going to free himself no matter what. Because, uh, if you don't free him... He'll free himself and he'll go to Firelink Shrine anyway. The only difference is he doesn't give you a reward and we do want that. Oh yeah, we're gonna go down this elevator. And we're just gonna head on back down to Firelink Shrine. Alright, we're going to rest right here. We're just going... Actually, I'm going to go take a look at all the upgrade materials I have. Yeah, we already have seven Titanite Shards, a Titanite Chunk, and a Demon Titanite. Alright. Anyway, we're going to go down here. And before you do anything, you're going to want to talk to him. And he's going to give you a Sunlight Medal as a reward. You can actually use this uh, for a Covenant. There is, an, uh, or not an incantation, I'm thinking of Elden Ring. Uh, there's a Miracle that you can obtain with a bunch of Sunlight Medals. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain that uh, later on. Uh, but anyway, now that we got that, basically we're gonna 
equip everything so we're just gonna do this and basically we're just gonna come over to him and we're just gonna attack him we should be able to kick him off oh. there's a way you can like kick him off the ledge there yep there we go. okay looks like we're not gonna be doing that today uh, you can kick him off the ledge right there to kill him. Uh, unfortunately, this guy is not easy to kill because he also does damage through your shield. Like, this guy is not easy at all to kill. I'm just gonna... Okay, yep, okay. I do not have time to use my Pyromancy Flamer to equip it. I... Uh... Oh, fuck. Yeah, this guy is a pain in the ass to kill. But it's going to be more annoying to not have a bonfire in Firelink Shrine, and we do want to keep a... Okay, kill him. All right. Huh, that's weird. What the fuck? Bro, he was just standing there not doing anything. That has to be like some kind of glitch. He was literally just standing there and I was able to hit him a few times. Okay. Uh, you might have to try to kill this guy a couple times. He might kill you once or twice. Or, you know, a couple hundred depending on... Uh, this guy is really annoying, and... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, see, I almost got him, too. Yeah, he isn't the easiest guy to kill, and that is why we tried to kick him off the ledge, but I've only been able to do that once. Uh, anyway, I'm going to re-equip my Pyromancy shield. The reason I unequip it was because I... Thought I would be able to like kick him off if I didn't have a weapon in my hand, but uh, yeah, we are gonna just distance might be the best way to kill this dude. Uh, come on, yeah, here we go. Man, see, this isn't even doing that much damage. Man, my pyromancies aren't even that uh that powerful yet we will get better pyromancies as the game goes on but uh okay, come here bitch die oh fuck are you fucking kidding me he just fucking buried me that's fucking bullshit oh <sighs> Yeah, this is probably going to be the end of the video, because I'm probably, uh, I'm, this might take me a couple of tries to kill him, because he is really annoying to kill. I need to look up, actually, how to just, uh, knock him off for the future. Yeah, if you guys are watching, I'd recommend just looking up how to cheese him by knocking him off the cliff, because that will just be so much better to do because this guy fucking sucks okay actually okay oh fuck okay okay drink 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 okay yeah, i have to be really careful with this guy i have to die again Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, it looks like he has, uh... Oh, fuck. 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 Okay. See? One more hit. One more hit. Okay, there we go. <sighs> one more hit. And now, we've killed him. And also, he drops humanity. Five humanity, by the way, which is actually really good. Uh, and this is also actually a benefit of killing him your first playthrough as well, because 
humanities actually are very helpful and he also gives you the ring of favor and protection now this ring i'm not going to put it on yet but it boosts your hp stamina and load but it does break when you remove it so uh, if you want you can equip it it is a very good ring it gives you uh quite a bit of extra health quite a bit of extra endurance and uh a bit more uh, equip load but if you ever remove it either by mistake or because you want to have another ring it will break uh, but anyways uh, that is the end of this video thank you for watching